Hey Aquarius, welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. What's going on with you this week? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Aquarius, what's going on with you this week? What's going on with Aquarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. Aquarius. We have the Ten of Wands, okay? We have the Three of Wands. Okay, so something could be overwhelming. Some of you just want to get away. Some of you, you've been putting on in a lot of hard work when it comes to, to moving, to traveling. Some of you just, you know, going abroad. You've been putting in a lot of work. You could uh, be drawn to birds. I was very drawn to that bird up here on the card. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a bird in the sky there, a few of them. But this white bird is really standing out to me. Some of you could be into dragons or have a dragon tattoo, or you may watch a show pertaining to like something with dragons, like how to train your dragon. You may have watched that movie lately or something with dragons. <laughs> Very random information, but that could be confirmation for someone. But uh, the bird thing, you someone could be very drawn to birds at this time, or you could be seeing a lot of birds. Yeah, loving like uh, paintings with birds or some type of artwork or sculpture, bird earrings, something of clothing with birds. Okay, Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, what's going on? I, I feel the energy of someone who's into, what do you call it, like uh, origami or something like making those little birds, those little uh, Japanese birds, I think. Okay. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. Let me know. What's going on with Aquarius? What's going on? Six of Cups is here. Yeah, I feel like you're ready to meet your person. You're ready to connect with someone. Some of you could be traveling to meet up with someone as well. But there could be a lot of work to get there. Could be a lot of work to get there. Some of you could be trying to adopt as well, adopt children. I'm getting that very strongly. Some of you could think about adopting a pet as well. Okay. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. What's going on with Aquarius? Ten of Wands here. King of Pentacles. Yes. Yeah, hard carrying the crown, huh? So you're putting in a lot of hard work. You could be trying to save up money. You could be trying to build your income in some type of way. King of Pentacles, hanging man. You may feel like things are stuck or stalled, or you may be looking at your career differently, trying to figure out what else you want to do with your career with the hanging man, ace of swords. Yeah, wanting to start something new. I also feel like with your romantic life, there could be things held up with a relationship. Some of you may feel like a relationship is a burden or, or to be in a relationship right now could be a little much for you. Um, even though that's something that you may want, you may feel like, um, it's a little bit unattainable right now. Okay. Ace of swords, what's going on? Three of pentacles. I'm feeling like some of you, you want to start something like maybe with more money, more success. Okay. And three of pentacles, maybe you're only getting by with the three of pentacles, but you want to be king of pentacles, okay? Yeah, six of pentacles. There's a lot of money energy coming through. So money could be on your mind this week, trying to save up. You could be saving up for a new place to live as well, trying to move for some of you. Ace of wands, starting something brand new. Nine of pentacles, wait a minute. <laughs> Another pentacle energy. So building, building, building. I feel this energy of building your success, trying to become, uh, I was about to say more popular. Whoa. So you could be building your online presence or just trying to like reinvent yourself, revamp yourself. Some of you buying new clothes, new shoes with the energy of the ace of wands, nine of pentacles. You want to look good. You want to be hot. You know, it's that energy of like, yeah, I'm sexy and I know it. So some of you could be like getting a new haircut, hairdo, transformation, losing weight. Um, some of you, like I said, sh going shopping, buying new clothes. You're kind of reinventing yourself, okay? Three of Wands, show me this energy. The death card is here. Yeah, you could be transforming. Eight of Pentacles, I'm telling you, all of it, you have, it's like you're in the energy of an earth sign this week. So you, you may be an air sign, but you may be thinking more so grounded energy, my career, my stability, my health, physical health, mental health. 
you're, you're thinking of how to get grounded this week, okay? Eight of Pentacles. So some of you could literally abruptly end your job, death to the Eight of Pentacles, and you could just move, like up and move abroad or up and move because of a new company, new job, new, new opportunity. Yeah, Two of Pentacles. You're trying to figure out a way to do this. Yeah, Eight of Cups. Some of you just want to get away or you are traveling. You are you will be traveling. Knight of Wands and you're going to be uh, very busy. Once you start traveling or once you get on this new road to success, you're going to, it's like offers are going to start coming in. You're going to be very busy, but it may require you to move or to travel. Queen of Cups is here. Queen of Pentacles. You may have help coming in from uh, women, okay? Female energy. Normally, I'm just like, oh, it's whatever gender. But uh, for me, this is strong female energy coming through for you. Okay, Queen of Cups could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. So you may have some help coming in um, with people maybe giving you advice, or you may have certain connections with female energy. Yeah, Five of Pentacles. And the lovers, like someone may help you out. For some of you, Aquarius, someone may help you out. It could be a Gemini for some of you. Um, but someone may help you out because they, they see how passionate you are. They they love you. They, they want to support you. Um, they may help you out financially as well. What's the Six of Cups for Aquarius? Judgment is here. The Nine of Wands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And the Six of Wands. You may have to leave things behind. You may have to leave everything behind. And that may hurt you a little bit, but you have to go on. Or people may want to hold on to you, but you have to move on. You have to grow. Uh, there could be a Leo, Aries, or a Sagittarius involved. King of Wands is here. Nine of Cups with the Devil energy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Capricorn's energy is here. So there could be someone that wants to hold on to you, someone who wants you, okay, to be with them. Ten of Pentacles, this could be family, okay? Three of Swords, yeah. There could be issues surrounding the family, family money, family uh, business. I'm feeling like there could be some uh, disappointments, maybe because you up and leave or you just up and go or your life is changing in such a way where people can't keep up with the changes that are happening in your life. Two of Cups is here. There may be someone that's heartbroken, uh, maybe because you left them or, you know, you feel like your life is going to the next level um, and you may have to leave this person behind. Okay. Someone may be heartbroken because you uh, have to move and now it's long distance. It's like someone is feeling sad. How does Aquarius feel at this moment? Page of Cups, okay? Six of Swords. It's like, I'm sorry, but I have to go. I'm sorry. You're very apologetic, but I have to go. Six of Swords. You're moving on. Some of you are moving on. It's a big decision that you're about to make. Sorry, but I have to go. I have to go. Look, I have to move. Chariot energy, I have to go. I have to travel. I have to do this. I have to go. The world, you're for the world. You know how people say, oh, you for the streets. No, you're for the world. You're moving. You could be traveling the world. You may decide to go backpacking, you know, cross country somewhere. You know, you know, you may hit up like six different countries, you know, in the next six months, or you may spend a year, you know, outside of your own country. Do you see what I'm saying? You're for the world. You're moving. And I feel like this is bigger than what people even realize about you. Anything else for Aquarius? <clears throat> Page of Wands. Seven of Wands. You don't have time for small talk. You're learning how to block people's small talk out. Seven of Swords, keeping things to yourself. Yeah, and becoming the Queen of Wands. Yeah, you have grown. You're blocking people out. You're blocking negativity out. You're blocking immaturity out. And you're growing into the energy of the Queen of Wands. Yes, being ambitious about your life, knowing who you are, being confident in who you are, and moving forward with your life. Woo! Let me come to this deck. What is <clears throat> what is Aquarius's energy this week? Aquarius's energy this week. I haven't used these cards in a while. What is Aquarius's energy this week? We have Gemini and the energy of Gemini. We're in Gemini season, so you're getting things done. Could be fast moving energy 
as well. Your fellow air sign. What's the energy of Aquarius this week? We have Libra. <laughs> fellow air sign. Oh, wow. So yeah, you're all wrapped up in air sign energy. Anything else for Aquarius? What is their energy this week? What is their energy? You're in the energy of Aries. Wow. So this is what I say. When I do these energy cards, whether you have this in your chart or not, it's showing you what energy you are in. So go and look at Aries reading. Go look for Libra's readings. Okay, not just on my channel, on any channel. Go and look at Aries read. Go and look at Libra's read. Go and look at Gemini's read. And I guarantee you something in those readings will resonate with you. Okay, any advice or insight? Advice or insight for Aquarius? Advice or insight for Aquarius? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. Chakra clearing. Wow, you could be into the color purple. Chakra clearing. It says, call upon me to clear and open your chakras using sac sacred geometric shapes. Oh, you know, uh, I don't know if you wear jewelry or something like that, but some of you may want to get something with uh, spheres or circles or like just showing your openness to spirit. I feel like that's very significant. And for some of you triangles, something with uh, like the, uh, the, that triang triangular shape is what I want to say. Okay. But you're clearing your chakras. So like I said, blocking out negativity, blocking out negative people, negative thinking, negative speaking. Like you don't even want to be around that. You're clearing your energy. You are learning to clear your energy, which is very good. Anything else for Aquarius? One last card for Aquarius. Freedom. Whoa. Another purple card. Purple is your color this week. Yes. Freedom. That's what I'm saying. You're just getting away from everything. This is what the card says. Live wild and free. Choose your freedom. Claim your independence. Let me read that again. Freedom. It says, live wild and free, Aquarius. Choose your freedom. Claim your independence. So whoever has been holding you back, whatever mindsets, whatever lifestyle has been holding you back, whatever has kept you in the dark, whoever has tried to tell you, oh, you shouldn't be doing that. Don't do this. Don't do that. But putting all these rules on you, free yourself, free yourself. I just felt the energy of someone getting out of jail. Um, so someone may finally be released uh, from prison or jail. And that could also be a mindset. Maybe you've been a prisoner in your own mind, a prisoner in your own life. It's time to get free, time to set yourself free, clear your chakras. Freedom is here. Live in freedom, walk in freedom. Alrighty, Aquarius, that is your energy. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monetero. Thank you so much for tuning in. If this reading resonated with you, let me know in the comments. I would love to hear from you. Take care. Bye.